As you know, if you watched my last haul video, I did a little bit of shopping online and then I also went to the mall. So I decided to include all my online shopping and the purchases I got at the mall in this haul. So if you want to see everything that I got, then stay tuned. I'm going to start with all my online purchases like I promised in my last video and then I will get to what I went to the mall and picked up some stuff from Forever 21. So first of all, I got some leggings from Black Milk. As you all know, I'm obsessed with Black Milk and I'm still waiting on a jacket from them. I really wanted to show it in this haul, but it's not here yet, so this will have to do. I picked up a pair of their matte black leggings, and I really like this fabric and how it makes my legs look. The matte black works with everything. These will be perfect staple for the fall, and I'm going to get a ton of use out of them. Plus. They fit so well. I love black milk leggings. And then I also picked up a pair of high-waisted pantyhose, which are also in the matte black finish. So the toes are covered and they go extremely high up. And I just think these will look really cute under uh, skirts, dresses, and they'll be perfect to keep me warm in the cooler months. So, glad I picked up those. I also splurged and got myself a Burberry scarf. So this is the Nova Ski, I'm assuming quilted black scarf. I'm not sure. That is that. It looks like this. Also on the back, it's just plain... Did I say on the black? On the back. It is plain black. It just looks really cute when you wrap it up and the black just kind of peeks through and you still have like the checked and all that. So it's super warm and comfy. Uh, it's 50% cashmere like most Burberry scarves I think are. But I just think this is going to look great for the cooler months and just like a classy classic piece that I'm going to get a ton of use out of. So, so excited for not my hair in my face. So, so excited to wear this scarf this fall and winter. Next, I got a pair of heels from Steve Madden. And believe it or not, this is my first pair of Steve Madden heels. And they are the Deja Vu uh, black leather heels. And I'm going to be wearing these tonight for the first time with the dress I have on right now when I go out to dinner with my husband, but these are so cute. I absolutely love these heels. They're just like, I don't know, they're probably my favorite heels that I own. And they look like they'd be the death shoe, but they're actually really comfortable. But for those of you with wide feet like myself, it does have the pointed toe, so it does squish everything in there. So I'm usually in between sizes like a 7.5, 8, and the 8 is pretty tight on me. So if you're curious about getting these and you have wide feet like I do, definitely go for your bigger size because 7.5 would not have fit my feet. But they're cushioned on the inside. So they're very nice to walk in, plus they have the platform which helps out with this extremely high heel. These are between 5 and 6 inches, I think. They're 6 feet tall or 6 one in these heels, so I'm a pretty tall lady with these babies on, but I'm going to rock it anyways and love those shoes so much. My last haul, I also picked up a couple bras from La Senza, and I love the show off bras so much that I ended up going online and getting a couple more. So, here are the ones I picked. They're not as plain as my last ones. And I picked up this blue and lace show off bra, and I found out that. Like initially I bought these for the strapless reason because they're really good supportive strapless bras. But I guess the straps can be worn in like seven different ways. So 
These have come in handy and they're my everyday go-to bras. I love these bras so, so, so much. So if you have a Lissenza near you, definitely check out, check out the Show Off bra. And I believe they're still on sale, like buy one, get them next for like $10. That's what it was online. Or it basically works out for two for 42. So I got the matching panty as well. This is probably my favorite one. I picked up this jade green bra and it also is the show off with the seven way adjustable straps. And I like these because they also have the removable cups inside. So you don't want that extra padding. You don't have to have it, but if you want it, you get that extra little oomph. And then I bought the matching panty as well for that. And the panties were like uh, three for something, so I just randomly picked up this yellow one as well. So that was all my online purchases, and then I went to the mall. And everything's Forever 21 except for these little shorts that I got at American Eagle. They're just like PJ shorts, so I love wearing little shorties to bed. And they just have this detailing on the top, and I think they were like $11 or something, so. Just a little, some little bedtime PJ shorts. And then the rest is Forever 21. First things first, I ended up getting this dress that I'm wearing. This is a peplum dress, and at the back it's a bit longer. And then at the front, it's shorter. So I thought it was really, really cute. And I plan on wearing this out to dinner tonight. And it is in a size small and you can see my really terrible tan lines. We're just gonna cover them up. And it was $21.80. This shirt is $23.80 and it is a blush color. And I thought it looked really good with my skin tone when I tried it on at the store. And it has a little bow detail on the collar and these little gold buttons down the front and then it kind of cinches at the waist and flows out. And next I was looking for just like a plain white blouse type thing and this was $21.80 and it also has little gold buttons down. It's sheer and extremely loose fitted so it's a bit slouchy at the back is a little bit longer than the front so I think this will look really cute with all my black milk legging obsession that I have and I don't know it's just really cute this next shirt I actually saw on the rack like when you come out and people have tried on clothes and they're sending things back and there was no way I would have found this in the store so I just took it off the rack, hopefully it wasn't someone's to buy rack, and it was, it is $23.80 and it looks like this. I knew right away that I had to have it. I feel like I'm in jail probably when I wear it just because black and white stripes always makes me feel like I'm a prisoner, but I think it's so cute. It's sheer again and just a dressy top. but. The buttons, which I, was like a selling feature for me, are these like studded silver buttons. And then it has this mesh panel running down the back and it's also cut uh, low in the front and high in the back. So high-low dressy top. Next shirt is like a tunic type top and I plan on belting this. It was a bit expensive, more than I pay typically at Forever 21, but it was $35.80. And even the size small is pretty big, so I got this in the small, and it's sheer again, but has like these little studded detailing along the sleeves and then down the side of the tunic as well. And across the bottom. So that's what it looks like. 
and I just thought it would be really cute like as a dress and then belt it at the waist and I'll be wearing this with leggings, jeans, you name it. I just thought it would be super quick, easy, put together outfit. And this is actually from their Love 21 line. It's another sheer top, but this time it is sleeveless and it's a button down the front. And just looks like this. And I thought it was so cute the way they had it styled at the store. They kind of undid a couple of the front buttons and then tied it up and then wore it with a blazer. So I was thinking about doing that as an outfit and stealing their styling idea. And this is a small and $29.80 as well. I picked up like a ton of accessories. So I'm going to start with my belts as I will be wearing one tonight with this outfit. I am going to be wearing this black bow belt and this was 580 and I believe the rest of the belts I'm going to show you are 580 as well. The cream in black which is really pretty and I love how these just snap into the holes. They're just really sturdy and in place. So I thought this was like really cute and I actually when I went to Forever 21 the one thing I wanted was some bow belts and I figured that they would have bow belts so I got the cream and the black and they'll just match with everything and then I saw this really cute uh, gold heart belt and it clips on the same way. I purchased a pair of flats and they are gold and glittery. Um, I'm not sure where the price tag went but I believe they were under $21 or $21.80 or something like that. So this is what they look like and they're so sparkly and shiny. I just love the, the glitter they used for these shoes. I just love how they are catching the light right now. So love those shoes. And here are my accessories. A pair of hoop earrings, they were $4.80. And they have this ribbon through gold black and gold. You can tell that I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. I don't know what kind of accent that was, by the way. I'm not sure. I picked up these black and gold dangling earrings for $4.80. They're circles and the black part kind of pulls away from the metal gold or whatever. So, loving those. They probably look cute with what I'm wearing tonight. But... Maybe I would wear them. Because it's kind of like triangles in the metal. Or would that be too mm, I'm not sure. We'll see. I may be pulling these out for my dinner outfit tonight. These cute little bows with pearls. Oh, I love these so much. They're only $4.80. Some barrettes. And these were $3.80. And they just have some pearls and some faux diamonds. Why won't this focus? And little roses. This headband, which was $4.80. And it has just a cream ribbon through gold. I got the black version, which matches uh, those hoop earrings that I have. So just the black through the gold. One of my favorite accessories that I picked up was $9.80 in this gold and black bracelet. It has a gold chain through it with like a black felt fabric. And how this works, it has a little button closure, clasp, whatever. And you wrap it around twice and just clip it. And that's what it looks like. Maybe I can use this as a choker. Hmm. It'd be like too big. Are chokers in? Because I would so wear this as a choker. I think the last time I wore a choker was like in eighth grade. And I had been no like sixth grade. So that was a long time ago. But I consider wearing this bracelet as a choker. I think it looks cute, let me know. 
probably my favorite bangle that I got. It is 580 faux crystals in it and I just thought that it would look really good when I pair like a bunch of bracelets together. These bangles, they were 680 and they have white and black little stones in them and they're gold as well. So I thought wearing like maybe a couple of these, not clearly all of these, it will go over my wedding ring. These ones are pretty tiny. So I always get the small size in the bracelets and then I kind of like regret it. And one at a time? Okay. They do fit on, it's just a struggle to get them over my hands. Bangle, it was $9.80. But it also has like a design on top as well. And we're gonna squeeze this on my hand again. I'm pretty sure I just broke my hand. Oh wow. The last thing I got were these silver and um, crystal bangles, and these were 1080. So they're really dainty and delicate, and I really like them. I think that is everything for my haul, my online haul, plus a little bit of shopping that I did. And wish I could have showed you that jacket from Black Milk, but it will get here, and I'm sure you'll see it, and it is amazing. And um, thank you all for watching again, and I will see you guys in my next video. So leave your request below, and I will see you then. I'm falling off. <laughs> new room, new furniture. Lesson number one. Um, I suck at describing everything. I forget what everything's called. Which is so cute. And it looks like a little, I don't know, why did I just do that?